Enter a chance to win a copy of Biomutant, your choice, PlayStation or Xbox. All you have to do to win is subscribe and leave a like and a comment on this video. All right, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the locations to all of Otto's appearances. Okay, so this is tied to the side quest called Old World Knowledge. There's 15 quests that you need to complete, and 10 of the locations are gonna have these outfits. Keep in mind, when you go to the location to pick up this outfit, it may not be the same one that I'm gonna show you because they're random. So the best bet is just to do all 15 of the locations, and then you will have all 10 of the outfits. Plus, I recommend that you check out my video guide for the locations to all of the resistance suits. This is gonna make your life a lot easier when you go to a couple of these locations. Now in the pinned comments, I will have timestamps for each one, just in case you wanna to jump to any part of this video. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time. Close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Toxanol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. You found the track! Amazing it wasn't destroyed! So much of this place was just discarded. Lucky the track somehow made it. No, it was never nice. It was new once, but that's not nearly the same thing. Just being new never lasts. The tracks moved on from Bricktown, and you should too. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. This box once tailed a chugger chugger. Now it's just off track. Look at that! Right in the chug yard! Follow the rails and you'll find all sorts of little treasures scattered all over the place. Of course not, but they get you closer to wherever you might want to go. Good work finding that track. They can teach you so much about the world. Keep looking for more. Lots of notices on the board for things that made sense in the days when the surf was a lot cleaner. Interesting to see what they cared about here. Wonder if any of it matters now. In the old days, this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped 
clog the surf into goo. Toxanol didn't do it on purpose, I don't think. Their machines made a mess though, and they never cleaned up after themselves. You should be able to find a track here, just need to keep your eyes open. Hey, you found the track, even around all this goopy goo. Nothing escapes your googly eye. The surf here looked cleaner when that track was made. It wasn't easy to peer through the surf, but there are eye box tapes on record that shows they knew what kind of mutated creatures their contamination had created. Glad you had the patience to learn more about how the surf got gooed. Hard to believe that notice board still has anything on it. Don't think the machines that worked here posted many things? You're getting closer to one of Toxanol's automaker mats. Just keep your ears up. The Toxanol Corporation manufactured many things here. Few of them lasted any longer than the place did. If you only have enough green to buy the cheap thing and you need it now, that's what you do. Even if buying the cost more thing would be cheaper in the long run. Keep on the lookout for a track. Might find it among all the trash. Look! Trash! Oh no! Track! You found the track! Even among all this junk, there was plenty to learn about and explore. Too true. But in the long run, everything gets thrown away. Even the living. Don't waste too much time on the tracks here. There are always others to be found, and in less depressing places. Surprised that board never got washed away with the surge of the surf. Listen up. You might be able to hear a surf hurdler when you get closer to it. The surf hurdle harnessed the power of flowing water. The plant had to stop because the goo got way too thick. Anything that moves can generate spark, if you can catch it. You should find a track here, if the goo hasn't washed it away.
there's the track, and still goo-free. Not even raging surf could stop those explorations. Glad you feel that way. It's a big world, and it seems like there's always more to see. And once you see it all, you can go back and see how it's changed. One thing about finding all those tracks, you know you're making tracks too. Just a few moves left, make them count. That notice board is cleaner than just about anything else around here. You're nudging up toward a played out sludge field. Just follow your nose. This place used to pump sludge from the ground for fuel. If you think the sludge was nasty, it was worse when the Toxanol Corporation burned it. Some of it, but mostly they sent it to plants where they turned it into go juice and then burned that. You can probably find a track around here if you look hard enough. go one bona fide track even out here in the middle of all this mess there were things to explore dry of sludge pretty much anything left behind was either too deep to pump out or too nasty to do anything with the tracks roll on from here to lands far beyond Keep to the straight and narrow. You're maybe... Look at those notices on the board. 
too bad the gnotes couldn't read them. If you wander around here, you might find Nocco. She just loves those gnotes. Once the power ran out, it made sense to ride gnotes, and that tradition continued through the years. Powered types of transportation polluted the world, but didn't poop in the street. Obviously, they didn't have their priorities right in those days. Watch your step here, and you might find tracks of another traveller. Found it! Even under all the muck in the gnote pen. Hard to believe the gnotes didn't trample it. They seem faster than you, and don't forget that when you ride them, they do all the work to keep you moving. You should keep moving. Can't let those gnotes blaze the trails for you. What a notice board! With those who moved through here, they must have had a lot to say to each other. There's a chug stop around here, no doubt about it. Choo Choo stopped here, back before the fuel ran out. You have to share roads. There's only room for one chug chug on a rail at a time. Don't just look at the rails, and you might find traces of other things. that track. Comforting to see that old things like that remain. Keep looking for things like that and you might well find the best stops along with the best trails. Back in the old days they used to move a lot of travelers. Hard to imagine that now. There's more trail to find still. As much as you've discovered, the world is yours to explore. Lockety locked. Be on the watch for a way out. What a mess that notice board is. So many hopes lost, all long forgotten. I'll bet if you poke around here, you'll find Lobo working on her gull blimp. Passengers used to board and leave blimps here, up until they couldn't see through the smog anymore. It's not the flying that kills you, it's when you land wrong. 
Keep your eyes open and you might find a new track around here. Maybe even learn a thing or two. That's what you're looking for. You can't leave tracks in the air, even when it's as smoggy as this. They didn't help, but lots of things made the air awful. You learned more about the world, but not even the sky's the limit from here on. Look at that notice board. Probably for those looking for a ride away from this place. You're getting close to a sludge make finery. The Toxanol Corporation used these to turn sludge into go juice. The process fouled the skies for miles around. Maybe, but not nearly as much as they cared about all the green they made. Step careful around the sludge, and you might spot some old tracks. You found traces even here. Even in the most disgusting parts of the world, they still liked to wander. Most of it got carted away a long time ago. You never know what you might find if you look hard enough, though. Maybe the tracks could lead you to some place that doesn't stink quite so bad next. Seems the nozzles need to be regulated to set the pipe workings in motion. Just a few moves left, make them count. Now that's unblocked, there's nothing stopping the flow.
You'd think a notice board like that must have had all sorts of travel schedules posted on it over the years. But that's all come to an end. Keep your eyes on the horizon. There should be an up in the station around here. This is where travellers used to get on ancient flap-flap machines and fly high above the dirty clouds. They called it an aerodrome, from what you'd be able to tell from old pamphlets found here. They sure did. The filth from them fell to the earth, so they eventually had to land in it with the rest of us. Look sharp and you'll probably find traces of travels here too. That's it! No surprise that travellers wound their way through here. Air travel used to be the fastest way to get around. Maybe too fast. You miss a lot of the world when you're buzzing over it. Not these ones. Not anymore. Flying that fast is terribly tricky, though. If you got one of them to work, you'd probably crash it. You might not be able to fly out of here, but you can still follow more of those traces all over the world. Locked, but good. You need to regulate the nozzles so they adjoin. Now that's unblocked, there's nothing stopping the flow. Look, it's a nozzle triplex. These time pasts are still quite common. It's a mechanica that can flux hollow metal to set fluids or gas in new day to you. Might as well enjoy it. There's a notice board, probably once filled with posts begging for nose plugs. There's a gas capturatory not too far from here. Just keep your nose up. The Toxanol Corporation made gas into burn fuel here. It made everyone sick after a while. They were more concerned with making green for their stock bearers than saving the lives of their workers and neighbors. Nasty as this place is, you might still find some tracks here. That looks like you're on track. It's comforting to travel on an old path like this. For you, I mean. Toxanol sold it all off as fast as they could make it. Might be some hidden around, but not a lot. Seems like those tracks never run out of gas. Thank you. 
Oh, that. Look at the notices on that board. No one paid much attention to them, it looks like. Wiz should be around here somewhere, probably taking care of his guppos. A surge surf factory was one of the cleaner ways to make power, until the surf turned into goo and clogged it all up, that is. The thicker the surf became with goo, the more the machinery clogged up and stopped working like most things from the bygone. There are sure to be more tracks around here, maybe by the shore. Are you... Impressed you found that, despite all the goo. This place has held power for a long time. In many ways it still does. Anything that's been ruined can be fixed, but it took a long time to get this bad. It'll take a long time to clean it up too. Glad you found that track. There's a lot to learn about this world, both here and beyond. Not too shocking to find a notice board here. Just sad to think of all those unanswered questions. Can you feel your fur standing on end? There's a spark plant not too far from here. This place used to make power for the Toxanol Corporation. Clogged the sky and water too. Nobody was so formal as to call it that, but yes, all the sparks you could want for all your spark-hungry gear. While you're looking out for sparks, see if you can find a track, too. There's the track! How shocking. Those tracks turn up in all sorts of places of power. This spark plant hasn't worked in an awfully long time. Sparks usually fade fast. As electrifying as finding that track has been, you've many other places to visit. That's a mind monitor from the days gone. A device that blip screened smart matter. Wouldn't be surprised if it still works. Take this seriously, or it'll take you down.
That board is filled with all sorts of hopes and fears of those who didn't like the city or nature and got trapped in between. You're getting close to what they used to call suburbia now. Not quite a city and nothing like nature. When the cities became too polluted, some moved here. Eventually they ran out of places to escape. Back then it was easier to move away from the messes you made than try to do anything to clean them. You'll find some traces of travels, even out here in the sticks. Nothing. Well, what do you know? There's another track. Sometimes even seasoned travelers needed a chance to get away from the hustle of the city. It was always that way, even in the olden days. That's one of the reasons some moved here, believe it or not. The tracks you found here will lead you back into the thick of things, eventually. <laughs> 